this deck is mounted securely and weather tight to the house, yet the siding was never cut, flashing was never used, and it was pre-built on the ground and then installed. It was built the easy way by using the patented Stratton Bracket. The Stratton Bracket is a unique and simple idea. It's easy to use and it's been proven to work in all types of climates. Most building codes require one half inch bolts when attaching a deck ledger to the side of a house. So depending on the home's type of exterior, the fastening method will vary. When installing the Stratton bracket against vinyl, wood, aluminum, or steel siding, drill a pilot hole through the siding and into a joist, header, or stud. For brick and other types of masonry, drill a hole large enough to accept the type of fastener that you are using. Dab some caulk into and around the hole. Bolt the Stratton bracket firmly to the house. The caulk will ooze out around the Stratton bracket and the bolt, providing a weather-tight seal. It's that easy. Now if conditions allow, build the frame on the ground, which is quicker and easier than conventional framing, or for larger decks, build the frame in sections. If the weather is bad, build your deck sections in the garage or shop. And then carry the sections out and set them in place. When building decks where the beam cannot be preset, lift one end of the deck or sections up and into the brackets and let the other end rest on the ground. Now before we raise the outer end of the frame, we'll need temporary support to hold it until the beam is set. To make a support, bolt a Stratton bracket to the end of a 2x4, but not too tight, so that the bracket can rotate freely. Place the temporary support under the frame and hook the Stratton bracket under a joist. As the deck is raised to a near level position, the other end of the deck will slide into the brackets mounted on the house. The 2x4 will swivel down and support the deck. Adjust the temporary support so that the deck becomes level. Now measurements can be taken for the height of a beam. We have pre-assembled the beam and post, which again is the easier way. So now we mark our beam posts and cut them to length. Raise the pre-assembled beam up and into place. Then anchor it to the deck and also to the post shoes. Check the deck for square. If it needs to be adjusted, the Stratton bracket will allow you to shift the ledger. After the deck has been squared, drill a pilot hole through the bottom hole of the bracket and secure the ledger board to the brackets. You can see the advantage of using the Stratton bracket in that it hangs your deck away from the house, allowing the wood to breathe and eliminating water buildup between the house and the deck. This particular deck will have angled corners, so we'll need to add the two outside joists, lay out the angles, make the necessary cuts, and we'll be ready for decking. For anchoring steps to the deck, the Stratton bracket makes it an easy task. With the stringers in place, hold the Stratton bracket up against the deck, making sure that the brackets are below the top step, mark the top hole of the bracket, drill a pilot hole, and secure the brackets to the deck. Now place a 2x4 into the brackets and secure it to the stringers. Add your top tread and your steps are done. If the steps should ever settle, the Stratton brackets will bend with the steps without affecting their securement to the deck. The steps will also be movable. The Stratton bracket can also be used for hanging flower boxes and dozens of other projects.